All right, so what's going on, guys? So recently, Trey and I attended the 2019 Import versus Domestic Show in Maryland. Now, I definitely want to say that 2019 was probably one of the best years. Um, I definitely appreciate the work those guys have been doing to make the show a little bit better every year. The show has definitely gotten better and it's definitely more streamlined than it has been in the past. It's the shows that I've been to. And of course, I want to thank Trey for actually driving up there, um, as well as like some of the vendors and some of the team members that were there that took the time to stop and talk to us. One example is like the owner of Billet Performance. Uh, they're a company that sells Billet engine blocks, which you don't know, they started around $10,000. Um, so even once we made it painfully clear that we weren't interested um, in buying anything and of course i finally got to see the red demon which is that 1800 horsepower 80 pounds of boost eagle talon and i talked to one of the guys over there and again he took it took his time because i know he was busy to stop and talk to us um, and i definitely appreciated that and we finally got to see cleus mcfarlane and leroy in action so that's definitely a plus all right so without further ado i'm going to go ahead and start the video i hope you guys enjoy all right and actually one more thing i want to give a special shout out to this guy now let's get into the video. It's import on the right side, domestic on the left. Here we go. It's different because mine is coated, so you can't remember. Yeah, all that's made now is the flange machine. We don't, we don't do that. We buy these directly from town. We do the flange, but I machine all the other flanges that are in the now. I go to the shop, I'll bring you. Obviously, the catch cans are made in the house. That's insane. I love raising the death, but it's a black hole. Like where you're at, you have a phone call. Because the break is not outrageously expensive. You can get parts, you don't have to buy crazy stuff. Around 950 is a great class to be in. But you can do it with very minimal things. Don't you cross over into True Street next year? You know, True Street's running 810. That's crazy. 
even when you break. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. The whole True Street feel is from 810 to 887. Like that's the entire 32 car feel. Like, that's what and there's no science to it anymore. Everything is cookie cutter. After check. Everything in this car, you go literally. If you had a credit card, click, 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 click. bam, you built an eight second car. Fine to The innovation is in Wild Street and Super Street. With the all wheel drive so trying to get together. And the Nintendo's decision got people trying to dial it. Even my girlfriend's like, you're, you're crazy. She's like, why would you spend this much money for zero return? You know why no soul is called? Because it was too expensive to race and maintain a business. When those got stuff in there, people coming out here chunking aluminum runs, they spent you know, twelve thousand dollars oh, yeah, from either four pistol or three on two. That's what it costs. And there's no way around it. Four pistol sold me my motor for cheaper than I could buy parts and build it myself. When I, Cause I was like, hey, I'm not paying nobody to build my motor. I'm well confident. I know what I'm doing. I went there and got down the prices. Ninety six hundred dollars a part. Four, four pistol shipping my door for eighty. Originally, when I started, it's because I couldn't afford to pay nobody to build a motor. That's what got me into being a mechanic because I couldn't yeah. afford to pay somebody I, I, to do it. You know, but when you get to this level, just the parts it's up. You know, you're spending twenty three hundred dollars for a set of rides. No wristbands. No come wristbands. There is no saving money in racing. I'm telling you, there ain't no saving. Ain't no cutting corners in racing once you get to that level. This guy loves Cletus. Obviously, look like he got, he's, got a, he's, got a, he's got a big lane, big line. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> bet everything. Why, why am I betting everything? You betting everything, man, because he be whooping Cletus' ass, man. They didn't even Cletus would tell you. That boy nasty, man. <laughs>
you're looking at this box right here, you see that line that goes to the exhaust? You're wondering why the hell is, is a line going to the exhaust? So, so what's happening is this valve cover is catching all the oil, oil and the gases from the motor when it's in the boost or whatever. But that line is like a vacuum. So the exhaust is pulling all that nasty shit out and kicking it up in the air. It's crazy. It's like a vacuum. Machine. Limited on uh, RPM range, effective RPM range. Two liters have a better uh, rod ratio. You gotta use all that power band that you can, you all know, right. when you're spinning something like that. I don't think he's broken a billet block, yeah. to be honest. I mean, there's, and there's the guys in Australia, I think they're knocking on fives right now. I think they're bottom sixes. Yeah. So, and they're running the same block. He, he, he just got this block, right? Like a couple years ago. Um, yeah, I think he was, when he went in 704, I believe that was on a cast block. I think that was still a cast block. Yeah. And then he went aluminum after that. I, it's, I could be mistaken on that. I, it's hard to keep track. Yeah, he's and he's he always making stuff. passes. Always making know? changes. Pushing it. So those are precision 5,000. When you burn all the air, you need to put all the fuel in there. You know? Monday is amazing. Thank you again. Yeah. Um, yeah. Awesome. 